Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, to export your project in Filmora 10. And uh, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial because I saw some some question on my channel about exporting and you, you are having some problem with the exporting video and uploading to YouTube or stuff like that. So I decided to make another video for you to explain everything in this software so that you can uh, understand and you can finish uh, your project. Okay, so the first thing, Filmora 10 or Filmora 9 is not a completely free program. Uh, when you export the video using this program with free version, you have, will have a big, huge watermark on your output and you need to purchase a license to remove that watermark. By the way, you, you, can, you can export your video with a free account. You need to create a free account if you want to export the project without purchasing a license. All right, and if you want to purchase a license, I have a 20% discount coupon code. We can save you 14 US dollar. I I will put the link in the description so you can just try it because you know that this is a very affordable video editing software and just just buy it. It is worth the money you want to uh, you pay for. Okay, so here I am inside inside Filmora 10, and it is the same in Filmora 9. So first, uh, first thing you need to log in into your account. So if you don't, if you don't have a, an account, you can just easily create a new account. For example, we see a button here, log in. So you need to click here to log in into your account. So we have uh, email address or stuff like that here. If you don't have an account, you can create a new account. All right. So this is just um, uh, this is a window that you uh, create a Wondershare ID, uh, meaning that you can uh, create a Wondershare account to control your Filmora 10 and Filmora Pro and also other products of uh, Filmora. Uh, here you need to type your email address and confirm your email and password and first name last uh, last name here. And when you set up uh, the password for your account, remember you need to uh, have a cap locks character and normal character and uh, numbers and special character and also uh, the number the number of character in the password must be uh, must be uh, more than six character okay and when you click on create account uh, it is free and finish okay log in into my account so i'm going to use this free account and next uh, wait a moment because uh, they need to verify the account okay so here we have the password uh, sign okay so log in successfully okay so now we can export the video we can click here to export the video uh, by the way sometimes you click the export button and you see this window and you say that oh you are worried this is the ads or stuff like that uh, no it is very simple information first one they want to inform uh, they want to inform you that you are using a free version if you want to remove the watermark you need to buy the uh, to buy the software or you can continue to to export with watermark here so i'm going to click here export with watermark because this is just a free account i used to test my program and now here we have all the export option and this is the one that i normally use local mp4 and now we have all the format video here and we have device i never use this one to be honest because all all the video i make here to upload to youtube or facebook and i never use this one device and here at this option you have the youtube button you can sign into your youtube account here and then export uh, and upload your video directly even with free account okay and for the local one uh, when we click local and then we can select mp4 at this uh, and there are some settings that you need to pay attention to the first one the name so i'm going to give it that's one and this is a, the the location where you can save your project uh, after export uh, you can click here to choose a location on your computer normally i have three some some drive on my computer and uh, i normally uh, use this one uh, data e so um, i create a a Filmora folder here and then I select it uh, select the folder 
So I never use the default folder because it is C drive and sometimes I install so many program uh, it can be full. Okay, so the next thing you want to go to setting and uh, you want to get the best video quality here. Okay, at this option. And for the bitrate, you need to increase it for, for normal video. I'm uploading to YouTube, I'm going, I normally use uh, 15,000 kbps or 20,000 kbps. And for some uh, for some client project, uh, I export at thirty thousand to get a better video quality. Okay, so if you are just uh, uploading to YouTube, you can select fifteen thousand, and then you can click OK. And now you can click here to export the video. I'm going to export this video and show you the the logo, uh, the huge watermark on the output. Okay okay so you can click here find the target to see the video this spotted video all right so here you are this is the test number one uh let's play the video to see how big it how big is the the watermark okay so here you are so this is a very big watermark at the bottom of your video and also they have a, a small advertise, advertisement at the end of the video and that is normal when you use a free account all right so that is how you can export your project in Filmora 10 and, and save your video into your computer and there is another option to export and upload it uh, upload directly to YouTube by the way this option I never use um, for example here uh, when you click the export again uh, export with watermark again uh, and you, you have the option to export uh, to YouTube here and you need a YouTube account to uh, sign in here and then by the way this option is not stable because uh, sometimes the internet connection problem and sometimes the software problem and so that I cannot uh, upload upload a video directly to YouTube right inside Filmora 10. Uh, normally I would save it to my computer and then go to my YouTube account or on web browser and then upload it uh, manually. Alright so that is how I normally do and you should do it also. That is all the information I want to share with you in this tutorial. If you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.